What's up guys? Um, looking for scarlet king snakes today. Um, really any other species as well, but mainly scarlet king snakes. Uh, they're known in this area pretty well. It's just a matter of finding one now. Sorry. But uh, yeah, let's we'll see what we can find. Yes. Oh. What's this I see? Second Scarlet King snake of the day. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, yeah, while we were uh, flipping bark and stuff, as you saw, and uh, logs and stuff, uh, we managed to catch two scarlet king snakes, or Lampropeltis triangulum elapsoids. Um, these are a pretty special snake in my heart because they're uh, a close relative to the king snake, and this one's chewing on me right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're a close relative to the king snake, which is why they have king snake in their name. And uh, what's unique about them is that they're the second tricolor snake that we have, actually third species of tricolored snake that we have in North Carolina. The other one's the uh, uh, coral snake and the scarlet snake. You see, he's just going away. But, uh, yeah, this is a, a pretty cool snake species. Uh, they're mainly found in the springtime when they're underneath things like bark and logs and stuff. And uh, during the summertime, they just pretty much disappear. You never see them. And, uh, yeah, they're fairly aggressive snake species. Um, I mean, they're just really, they're more of a defensive snake. They like to chew on you and bite. And um, But, yeah, they're like, like any king snake, they like to uh, vibrate their tail and uh, get in the S position and strike. Um, this is actually a juvenile or an adult, a sub-adult. They actually are a very small snake species. They only top out about uh, 16 inches, I think. Uh, they get a little bit bigger, I think. They can get about two foot long. Um, what's unique about uh, them in North Carolina area is that instead of having yellowish bands, they actually have white bands. I don't know if that's in any other state, but uh, I just noticed that around here. I haven't seen one in a while though actually. Uh, the last time I saw one was in 2006. So it's been a while since I've seen one and I've actually looked for them, you know. Uh, but yeah, really cool snake. They uh, do uh, share a close uh, family relationship with uh, milk snakes, like eastern milk snakes. And in fact, in North Carolina they're actually known to integrate and create the Coastal Plains milk snake, which is a uh, a very similar snake. You see, he's chewing on me. I don't want to hurt him, so get him off. But uh, yeah, very beautiful snakes. And uh, what's sad is that a lot of people collect these snakes, which uh, I don't really approve of because they're uh, they're very secretive and um, they only they're very uh, selective of their habitats. They're uh, they like pine savannas and stuff where uh, it's very open and uh, there's a lot of places to hide, like ground cover and stuff. As you saw, they like to hide in logs and stuff, so they're really cool snakes. Uh, they're very beautiful. They have red eyes. I just dropped him. They have red eyes, and uh, they have like a little whitish cream colored band on the back side of the head, just like a coral snake almost. It's kind of cool. 
to have tricolored snakes. It's just, you know, it amazes me to be able to flip an ugly piece of bark, you know, and have uh, such a beautiful snake hiding beneath it. It's just like a gem, you know, a little crystal. They're beautiful. I love Scarlet King snakes. They're one of my favorite snakes, other than hognose snakes, which are my favorite. Um, the belly, as you can see, is like a checkerboard kind of pattern. Looks like the bands go around. It's pretty cool. Uh, but, uh, there's a little uh, poem that goes with telling these from coral snakes in that uh, red touches black is a friend of Jack or Venom Lack and red to yellow which means the red bands touching the yellow bands means uh, kill a fellow so pretty much coral snakes are the only snake species tricolor snake species that have uh, the bands the black bands touching I mean the red bands touching the yellow bands yeah they're very cool snakes uh, I was very surprised to see one today um, two let alone so, I'm very happy. We'll see what else we can find today. Um, but yeah, they're, uh, they are constrictors and they eat uh, lizards mainly, like anoles and uh, skinks. Because I find a lot of skinks under bark, like southeastern five line skinks. And, uh, but yeah, they just, uh, they're very unique snakes. Very pretty snakes. You can see why they're easily collected because they're beautiful. But uh, we're not collecting any today. Just letting them go, taking pictures, enjoying nature. Beautiful snakes. You gotta love them. Scarlet King snakes. We're gonna let them go, take some pictures.